we're going to make this one right here. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by today to see my new granny square. This is a 3D rose. Look at this. I love how those colors worked up. Obviously I'm not going to use black today because that's really hard to show up. We're going to make this one right here. Very nice. But it's 3D. It's nice and poofy, but it's nice and tight. So I made it here in white with a blue edge. I really like this. This is a, it's a Lion brand and this one, I know that this is Deborah Norville. This is a premiere every day. This is a Universal. This is Karen Simply Soft. So you can do anything you want. I love how this worked up. I probably will make some beautiful throw or something that goes around this, but I won't be able to show you that in black. So I'm going to show you in the pink. Now this pink that I'm using right is this Knitting Fever. And it's called Rambling Rose. And it's a two weight, it's a fine weight, but it doesn't work up like a fine at all. It works up more like a four just because it's so fuzzy. And I'm using a four millimeter book, My Furls Ebony. So let's get started. The trick with this one is we're going to start out making our chain with the color that you want to make the square out of, not the flower color. It makes it a lot easier. So the math that you want to use is, we can start with the slip knot, the math you want to use is how many petals you want times three minus one. That's your chain. I am going to make 25 petals so that means I'm going to chain 74. 73 and 74. So now I have a chain. It's 74 long. I'm going to start my flower. So what we need to do is single crochet all the way back down this chain, but we are going to change our color now. And now I'm going to use the pink, which is my rose color and we are going to single crochet all the way back down our chain. We chained 74, so we are going to single crochet 73 all the way down using our flower color. And this one I'm using pink all the way down the chain and I'll meet you at the other end. Single crochet is all the way down. And my last couple of stitches down my chain. We chained with the color we want as our border and now I'm doing all my single crochets in my flower color. So you'll have something that looks about like this. Get a little candy cane. It's striping. Now we need to work the base for our petals. So we're going to chain one and turn our work and in our very first stitch we are going to put in two double crochets. There's one and two, a chain two, and another set of two double crochet. So this is the base of our petals. We will end up with a little v-stitch right here. Now our next V we're going to skip two one, two, and in that third stitch over, the same thing. Two double crochet in the same stitch, chain two, and two more double crochet in the same stitch. All the way down. Okay, and I'm down to my last three stitches. One, two, three, we skip two and in our very last stitch we're going to do the same thing, make another V. So it's two double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochet. There you go, there's the base for all of our petals. So now we get to start working on our petals. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and in the V, the chain two space right here in that V, we want to put in ten double crochet. 
one, two, nine, and ten. In that V spot. Ten double crochets in that V spot. Now in this little space right here, it's almost like a chain space, but this space right in between, we want to put a single crochet. And we're going to do the same thing again, repeat that six times. So the first six petals will be ten double crochets in each with a single crochet in between in there. So there we go. One, two, and there's nine, and ten. Ten double crochets in this V. And jump over to that next open space and single crochet. We want to do that a total of six times and ten. We go one, two, three, four, five, six. Our first six petals are done. Double crochets in each petal with a single crochet in the little space in between. So I'm going to do a single crochet in here. I'm just going to mark this so I don't have to count every time. That was my sixth petal. So now in the next six petals, it's the same idea except it's only eight. Eight double crochets in each petal instead of ten. And seven. And a single crochet in the next space in between. Remember that's five petals. We want seven double crochets in each one. And there's stitch number seven and a single crochet in between. So there's one, two, three, four, five petals at seven double crochets each. The next five petals, you could probably guess, the next five petals are going down to six double crochets in each. So the next five V's will have six double crochets in each one. Five and six. So there's our one, two, three, four, five petals of six double crochets. And we're almost done. So we're going to single crochet in between like we do have been in between every other petal. Now these next two petals are five half double crochets in each. One, and those were half doubles. Of course, a single crochet in between. Four and five. Single crochet, and our very last, our very last V gets four single crochets. Two, three, and four. So we can take this marker out, and now we just have this long strand of petals. So what you do with that is you need a nice long piece from where you just finished our last stitch. Pull out this loop, but we want a nice long piece because we're gonna we need to sew. So get out your needle and a nice long piece of this so you don't have any danger of being too short and finish this off and pull this long tail through. Alright, so now we have a nice long tail. Thread the needle really quick so we have it ready. And now we are going to roll our flower up. Okay, so now we have all of our petals are done. These are the big petals. Now we're going to start rolling and you start at the little end, the tiny one that only had four single crochets and just start rolling following the chain around itself like this. See with that chain being a different color it comes in very very handy until you have it all spooled up and you want to have one two three four five six seven eight. You want eight petals to be showing. So if you did it a little bit tighter, you just want to backtrack a tiny bit, but you need eight petals. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you see how this will look? Now we're going to take the end of our chain color, 
cut off a nice long tail. We need a nice long tail so we can sew our flower together so it doesn't fall apart. And we just start going through each part of the chain. Makes it really easy to see using this other color. And we are just going to stitch these together so they don't come apart. Try to get through every one of them. And just move around a little bit. Move over to an, just a few stitches over and go all the way across again. And do that several times until you feel comfortable that your rose is not going to lose its spiral. It won't come uncurled. And you see, after we've done that several passes, and you've made it generally all the way around a little bit, the spiral won't come undone. It matches this part, and it doesn't look terrible. It looks actually pretty nice. It's a nice little circle. I'm going to go one more time across here, and then I will finish off. All right, so see, there we go. I've got him all connected, all as well. So now I can just fasten this off a little bit, tie it in a nice little knot. I'm going to take care of this one right here. I'm going to tie these two in a knot. And these two on the front, and just pull them through. Pull them through to the back. Should be able to sneak through here somewhere. And now there's nothing showing, and your little middle, the very middle, will be secure. There's our flower. Now we'll work on the square part. This is really fast, too. So we're going to get back with our color for that we used for the chain, which is this cream color. And then in these single crochets that were in between each one of your petals is where we want to be working. So make sure you have them in the right spot. Now I'm going to start in the one that kind of overlaps a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right here in between these two petals because there's my eighth one. In that single crochet is where we want to start. And we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And in that same space, three triple crochets. One, two, and three. So we're starting right in here. Right in here. Jumping across this guy will take three chains, one, two, three, to get to the next single crochet right here. And we are going to, in that space, put three double crochet. chain three and in the next jump over this petal get to the single crochet in the in between and we're doing three triple crochets we're making a corner and there's number three chain three and another set of three triple crochets. And that is how we make our corners. One, two, and three. There we go. There's a half a corner here. There's a side, and here's another corner. So in between, again, we're going to chain three so we can get all the way over this petal. And in this single crochet in between, three double crochet. Chain three and do another corner which is three triples. Chain three and three triple crochet in the same space. One, two, three chains and here's my last set of three triple crochet. Triple, triple, triple. 
and there's number three. Chain three, and in the next, jump over the petal, get to the single crochet, three doubles. Chain three, and another corner. Chain three, and the next one is just a side, which is three double crochet. Chain three, and now we're back to our first corner that we did. Corner here, corner here, corner here, corner here. Now we have to finish this corner. So what we have here is there's our three triple crochets and there's a chain seven, which is a triple crochet and the chain three space in between. So what we need to do is in this little space right here where we first started, we need to add two more triple crochet in that same space to finish our corner. So then we have our three triples, chain three, and three triples sequence still going and count backwards here. One, two, three, and slip stitch into the fourth chain. And there we go. That's our first round. You pull all the petals out. You just fluff them up. A little three dimensional here. Then we got one more round to do. To get it to be a better square. But that was the one that barely shows right here. And we have to do one more round and then we're all done. So starting working right here in between, in this corner, right in between, chain four, a two triple crochet, so that counts as three triple crochets in our cluster, three chains, three triple crochet, chain two, jump over to this space, and we want three doubles, another little granny cluster, chain two, and do that again, three double crochet, chain two and another corner, which is three triples, th chain three and three triples. And that's our sequence all the way around. Here's my last granny cluster of three double crochet. And then we just slip stitch into the top of our original chain because this is our first corner and that was a complete corner. You just puff out the petals a little bit and there it is. They're so cute. You can make them any color you want, any yarn you want. Now we'll just finish this off right here and you can weave in ends. There are our little three-dimensional granny squares. There you go. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.